How do you feel like being a California resident? That's what I was leading up to. Oh, I um, <laughs> I never. Well, where were you before? Have... I was a California resident. <laughs> so we're just getting an update on something that's old. <laughs> Joe did, Joe did his research, as always. Joe did his research. How do you feel being a dude now, man? How do you feel? <laughs> Welcome back to another amazing episode of Careful Boys. Where, where we, we are off the, the record. record. I got... <laughs> what is that? It's a Kinja's move. <laughs> hey, I got a rat's tourniquet. Is this a good quality one? Uh, it's a, you want to get a cat tourniquet, but that works too. We're oh, rats get chased by cats, so that's why. <laughs> it's just a different tourniquet. <laughs> we got Jason Cheney with us today, by the way. Hey, what's up, Jason Cheney? Welcome back, Jason Cheney. People you. love you. Good to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, Steve, yeah. and well, thank you guys for man. having me. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, how do you feel, <laughs> how do you feel about, um, most of your fan base now, like JK fans, like how we helped boost your career like crazy. Dude, they're freaking see, awesome. Did you honestly. see the nice things yeah. they said about you in our Discord, by the way? Really? What did no. they say? They love you. I, I don't know what. It, oh, oh, I saw it on you on Wasn't Instagram. Wasn't that so nice? That is really nice. That Look, is really so nice. nice. You're a certified hit. Jaron K said, Q said, everyone needs to watch Jason Cheney's stand up. He's hilarious. I want to see Jason Cheney. He's never he's seen my stand-up. He goes, yo. <laughs> he your stand-up's hilarious, dude. Yo, I can't wait to see Jason perform at Zany's in Nashville. Already bought my tickets. That's Woo, so nice. nice. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Every Who time, you Jay? Every Thank time you. there's like JK people that come, they're always so nice. Can Seriously. you maybe give a message to the fans? Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm Jason. Thank you for... Thank you for watching JK. <laughs> oh, no. Cut this, cut this, cut this. <laughs> I wasn't a really hard felt. I was building it up. Okay, oh, I'm, I'm okay. my bad, my bad. Yeah. Act one, act one. one. No, 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 that was it. No, but I, yeah, you know, it's just sad. really nice. Cool, Everybody's man. really nice. Are you ever sad because you're such a hit, but then you're a married man, you can't be fucking on the fans? I just, no, I just want to, um... You're not that horny, huh? I'm not that horny, honestly. Right. That makes I, sense. I never <laughs> took him as a horny guy. I, yeah, I guess, I guess. <laughs> I would like to be more horny, but I'm not a, because I want to fuck my wife a lot. Yeah. Oh, no. But you because I'm not that horny. I'm not that horny. Do you hey. come fast? <laughs> Some days I do, but when I'm like on the days that I'm not um, horny, then I come slow. It comes oh, slow, like it yeah. comes out slowly. Like you yeah, like toothpaste. So, so yeah. like every um, one miller milligram every minute. So, so you don't, you barely notice. <laughs> milligram a minute. You come while you're having sex. It doesn't all come out at the end. It's not even pre cum, dude. <laughs> it's full cum. Full cum. The whole. Thing. Sometimes you could come a little bit. Uh, and then if you stop yourself hard enough, then you could, you know, have a big orgasm at the oh, end. Oh, okay. I, I remember that I mean? technique. I, yeah. Uh, I don't think I can know how to do that. Is that not like a tantric yeah. method of some sort? It's I think like if a, it's coming, it's coming. What does tantric mean? Hey, that's romantic. That's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Some Indian comes with your thing. Uh, you know what I've been watching these days? That's been porn. pretty sick. Pornography. Um, <laughs> hardcore porn. So I'm really happy that California is starting to finally relieve itself from the drought because it's been raining a lot. Yeah. And you know I love. I'm a big fan of natural disasters, right? Yeah. So it's been. What's flying. your top three natural disasters? I think flooding. Watching typhoons are hilarious, True. especially the typhoons in Asia. Hilarious. Why is it hilarious? Um, because when people are like holding onto poles and then like, oh my god, like, are you really saying this? Things are like flying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I got I got a hand job though, because he put me on to it's people climbing on top of their cars when it's like but when it's all like fucking flooded and shit. And there's something hilarious about it. It's really it's, weird. It's he put weird. me on to when the lava goes down the streets and it just starts melting cars instantly and people are trying to run away. <laughs> <laughs> People's lives are getting ruined and it's That's hilarious. More That's more hardcore for me. I think there is something, so I watched a video recently, right? Of this lady and she's just like driving in like, I don't know, she's like driving a Tesla uh -huh. and it's probably like knee deep water. Yeah. And like these people are standing outside and like, don't what the do fuck it. are you doing? And then no. she just keeps going, and yeah. then all of a sudden her boat it just like stuck. it just turns into a boat. It just starts fucking floating, right? And then she like starts turning around, and you can just see her go from the moment of like, why is everyone fucking standing here? It's fucking stupid. It's just a little bit of water. Oh shit! Oh <laughs> fucking shit! But then because Teslas don't have engines, mm. she fucking managed to get to a surface little, <gasps> little part and drives right clean out of it, like a hovercraft. Oh. Unbelievable. 
Wow. Like a duck boat. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Wow. It was great. And I, yeah. I just been because your engine won't get flooded. And this video is sponsored by Tesla. Tesla. There you go. There I just I just been, right. been checking out, you know, how the status of our water water levels are doing. I mean, I'm not a Californian anymore, but you know, as a person from afar that yeah. has roots in California, I was like, how is our reservoirs doing? And a lot of them, they're doing better than what they Who do. are you asking? This sounds like a guy who got caught watching porn. He's like, oh, no, no, I was just looking at a California reservoir. <laughs> shit. I was looking at a reservoir. <laughs> yeah, like, so like the California reservoir. So, so like, yeah, you know, I have roots. I, I have roots in California. So like, I gotta check the reservoir situation. Dude, <laughs> he's caught typing soaking wet reservoirs. <laughs> Oh, I good, read, good. They're wet. I actually read Playboy for the articles. It's not really. I understand. For, it's not for the. He gets good tech advice there. Yeah, that's great. I do it for the the articles. Are really what an intellectual good. man. Yeah. I'm glad you have a passion for something like floods. Mm hmm <laughs> How do you feel like being a California resident? That's what I was leading up to. Oh. I um. <laughs> I never. Well, what were you before? Had... I was a California person. <laughs> oh, have you only have you only been? California? So we're just getting an update yeah. on something that's old. <laughs> Joe did Joe did his research as always. Joe did his research. So how do you feel? How do you feel being a dude now, man? How do you feel? <laughs> so, what's it like being a comedian now, man? Big change of career. <laughs> Is it awkward? I, I, like, I, I felt so pressured when you asked me to go. I was like, I don't know what to say at this point. He just went with it? He's, yeah, I wanted to say something, but I was like, I don't know. I mean, like, as a Californian, right? Yeah. I'm assuming that you have a lot of, like, I mean, you care about your state. And it's in a drought. It's been in a drought for such a long time. Don't reservoir shame him, dude. I'm just saying is, why is an out-of-stater caring more about the drought situation than, a, Cal than California a Californian? Residence. Hmm. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Joe's doubling down on backing up that he's not watching porn right now. <laughs> that's like, why aren't you looking at reservoirs? Yeah, yeah. Jason Cheney, do you find this room to be welcoming? Uh, and or or because sometimes I always get worried about new people coming in because we already have like a group, right? Yeah. But then I get worried that maybe people are going to be like intimidated because we have a vibe and like maybe they're coming into it. How? What's your cold take on this? Just as a as a, you're a comedian, so you can. You know, I, today, I feel like you'll be honest. That's really nice that you you said that that yeah. you asked that. But today I just felt because I, I I went through it. I was like, oh man, like you guys do have a thing, and then sometimes I feel left out. But a lot of the times you guys would be like, oh. You say some stuff, and then I get to say some stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 which is really nice. Yeah, which, well, no, we we try to bring you in, is what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah. you guys, yeah, really nice. And um, but now I'm just like, oh, they're just you know our friends, and they're just saying stuff. And sometimes I want to say stuff, and I'll say stuff. And sometimes I don't say. Do you know how videos work? Um, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning as we do this. Yeah. Yeah. So no, but. I don't, but you're just nice, and sometimes I'll say a thing, and sometimes I don't say a thing. Yeah. But it just yeah, feels like, mm -hmm. I know, but I'm just saying it twice. Reiterating it, so yeah, so you get the point, because he knows he's talking to a fucking dancer. No, I'm just saying, he's saying, I'm just saying something. Is this your third or fourth time here? Um, I think he's either third or fourth. <laughs> <laughs> no, because because this is first because this is the first time you guys meet, so that means yeah, every yeah, single yeah. time. Yeah, because I know I, I missed one when you were here. Yeah, that's that. But most of the wow, time, you remember? Yeah, I remember. But he also had, asked you if it's your third, fourth. He didn't remember that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know I missed <laughs> once, but then. That that that's just what that's why I was like mind blown. Like, oh wait, this is your first time with Steve? Yeah, that, that blew my mind too. Cause I was, I, yeah, I was looking forward. To so it. he's been here months before. <laughs> Everybody in the comments has been saying Jason's the new Steve. It's pretty sick. <laughs> Everybody's big. been saying that. That's big. <laughs> They're nothing alike. Ooh, don't be racist. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> be careful. But um, yeah, that's. Uh, Hey, say something. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to say that. You're saying something, so I'm not gonna say something when you're saying something. Oh, that's Do weird. you know how the videos are? work? Yeah. He's being uh, welcoming. He's yeah. being welcoming. You are yeah. one of the most requested people to have back in terms of like fans saying stuff. They're always like, when's Jason coming back? Bring Jason back. Yeah, they don't ask about other people, but they ask about you. No, that's not true. They ask about everybody, and that's nah, really nice. Not, you know? not really. Not everybody. Not yeah, everybody. not everybody. And not not anyone as often as they ask about you. Really? You know? Yeah. yeah. And you can true. check for yourself in comments. Like people are always like, it's not nothing to do with you on the video, and they're like, when's Jason coming back? Wow, that is yeah. that is really really nice. But also, it's even nice that uh, just, yeah. Sometimes I just want to be um, good on the with the group too. But sometimes I'm just like, man, I don't know how to be good with the group, and I'm just gonna do 
I'm just gonna have a good time. Yeah, that's it. Just jump in. Yeah, so you're, you're, I just try to have a good time. You're already on the on the wavelength. Say the word gay sometimes and think that that's crazy, and it'd be fine. <laughs> do you do you read our comments? Yeah, yeah. Does it hurt your feelings? Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> well, what was the comment that hurt your feelings? I don't know. I just went with it just now. Oh, you just agreed just yeah, to agree? agree do you use Discord? When's the last time you got, you got your feelings hurt? Yeah. Um, yes, two days ago. What happened? What I was doing is, I was doing a set, mm -hmm. and, um, and I just wasn't locked in with, like, yeah, sometimes, my, my feelings are hurt, uh, all the time, but I just get, <laughs> you know, I just, sometimes it hurts and I go, ah, it's fine. How do you get over it? I just go like this, ah, it's fine. <laughs> You literally tell yourself that in your head. Yeah, you go, or you no. say it out loud. He just said how he got over it. So. When you say not locked in, were you doing new material and you weren't delivering it the right way? Like yeah, it was hitting before, it's just not hitting tonight? Or were you not, or are you doing old material? Like, what was going on? Yeah, just a bunch of, bunch of um, stuff. Okay. Like for example, like for example, one of the stuff was, like if I, if I say a new material thing and then did the, and then if the um, if the room energy wasn't go is not good because yeah. the energy is everything I feel like yeah. if the if energy it, is good everything hidden. is good yeah like even if it's not hidden but yeah. we're having a good time yeah. but you know a lot of the time some shows it's like they come out you know your friends drag you out mm -hmm. you know and they go come let's go watch a thing and yeah. then the friends are like fuck I don't want to go watch a thing but I like every time I go to your house you give me free cheese and wine. So I'll go with you to this bullshit. Yeah. And then they come and they're like, fuck, man, I don't want to see this bullshit. And then it's me pouring my heart out. Yeah. And then you see their face. Like, Can you see I'm, who those people are? Yeah, because they're looking at their fucking hands. And, and I'm telling my fucking best jokes. And then they're going like this? They're like, look at my finger. Why yeah. is it here? And then I go, oh, fuck. My, oh, fuck, my feelings. Well, but what if, but how do you know they're not like me where I'm listening, but I'm not like looking like I'm listening? Because it's just like you'd see it in their eyes do, and do they go on that? their phone. Do you watch something and you're having a legitimately amazing time, but you're just not showing it? Yep. <laughs> what would I do? And sometimes I look engaged like a motherfucker, but I'm not there. <laughs> Dude, me and Nikki do that because, because like uh, my wife, my wife and I do this thing where we'll we'll watch something and if we both think it's funny, we're like, ah, that's funny, but we don't necessarily laugh all the time. It's weird. So you go, ha ha. You no. mean it's like when you're texting, lol, but you don't actually. That's like a, that's like a writer's yeah. laugh. Yeah, 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 but you yeah. have to also let them know that it's funny though. You laughed on the, you feel funny like on the yeah. inside. Yeah, exactly. You you got the you got the the little like the little oh yeah that, that was funny. I, I like that. Yeah. yeah, but we don't necessarily laugh every time. We we sometimes just go oh that was funny. That Mental was funny. checklist. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. acknowledgement. Yeah. Mm. I always laugh extra hard at a comedy show even when I don't feel like it for respect. Really? Because I know what it's like to be a comedian, you know? oh, even though I never did stand-up you, comedy. You're doing charity laughs. It's called charity laughs. No, I have to though, because sometimes I'm when like, the improv group watches itself. Yes, dude. <laughs> and there's more of them in the audience than on the stage. Oh, oh and you just know, you just know that it's required attendees because they're in the class. Oh, but the reviews are in. The hey, reviews are in. That's can't nice. deny a hot show, man. Because things are funny, like like you said, they're funny. Yeah. Right? You feel it, and you're like, oh, that was funny. But then it takes so much energy to go. Ah! It doesn't always hit. It doesn't right. always hit like yeah. a laugh, but it's like, oh, that yeah. was funny. That's yeah. true. Yeah. You know what I enjoy? I enjoy when I'm not necessarily in the mood to laugh, so I'm not really laughing at something that's like comedic, but then when they do hit a joke and it makes me laugh, like it forces out of me, then I'm like, that's really, really funny. And that feels really good. That does feel really good. Right? Yeah, I like those moments too. Almost because when it's, for some stupid reason, it's almost like guilty laughing. It's like, <laughs> oh man, that's... Oh shit! Because your mood is in like yeah. super excited. Because you're not always in the mood. Like like when I put on like a Netflix special, it doesn't mean I'm always like I'm ready to laugh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. But something will be said and you just bust up out of nowhere. You weren't thinking you're gonna laugh. Like I, I did this the other day watching Andrew Schultz with uh, with Nina, and right. there are certain things where I, maybe it's because I almost felt guilty because he was just dunking on the WNBA and stuff like that. But I was sitting next to Nina, so it was just extra fun. <laughs> Why would you feel guilty about that? In here, it's different. In here, the way you guys dunk on all the time, I'm secondary laughing because you guys are already laughing. What are we dunking on? The WNBA. You don't do the same thing I do? If, if there's someone smashing on WNBA, I go, hey, babe, defend them, defend them. What do you have to say? 
<laughs> and they and she usually can't defend them, so she's on my side. Now we're both dunking on them. Yeah. <laughs> you toss her in. Yeah, <laughs> you're advanced. Well, you tell me, hey, fine. You you defend them. Can you do it, Nina? Let's see. Dude, okay, me, okay. me and Nikki were driving into Vegas a month and a half ago, right? From Christmas bullshit, right? And we get into Vegas, and Nikki's like. So we see a sign and it says like congratulations to you know the the winners of the we NBA. won the championships and then Nikki goes holy shit the I, uh, I guess Vegas WNBA they won the championship and I was Aces. like you didn't know Las that Aces. that is why everyone doesn't care about the WNBA you're a woman you you didn't even know that I knew that she doesn't even know that one big roast that I saw oh that's pretty fucking tight I wish I remember her name but she's one of the star players on the Vegas WNBA team and uh, one basketball player was roasting the WNBA and then she clapped back with, if you guys win a championship, I'll listen to you talk. Cause she actually won one. I was like, oh Ooh, shit. Okay. And I think that they're probably like, I could probably win a WNBA championship on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Just like me, like no other players. They should Juana a man then. They should. Hey, what's your, what, what kind of hobbies you got, brother? Um, I like to smoke cigars. Oh, no shit. Yeah. You're like a Monte Cristo? I know. You're like a Gurkha? No, it's, they're expensive. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What do you do, like Black and Miles or some shit? Do you have a humidor? Yeah, as, yeah but it's like a just like a cookie jar. Okay, yeah. But those are, yeah, the cookie jars are the best. That's cool. Yeah. Um, do you have a humidor? I, I try to... I do. Joe, Joe that's a guy. weird question. Addy, you just met the guy. <laughs> Too personal. Yeah, it's really personal. I, I try to find like a lot of hobbies. So I, like uh, one time I, I like flew kites. Oh. Yeah, I, I fly kite. And um, he likes kites. Do you like kites? I like kite. You need to teach me. I have a professional one and I still can't even fly that shit. You mean the ones with two handles where you gotta sit down and fucking go crazy and shit? I don't know, I bought it from REI because it looked fucking sick and I still couldn't even fly those windy as fuck. Bart would get the one that takes the right. most work to do. No, yeah. but it was a, it's like one of those sick ass ones. And then I was like, Tiger, like, Papa will show you how to do this. <laughs> and then he's like, I don't think you know how to do this. I'm like, trust me, I do. There are some really difficult kites to fly. Yeah, I think yeah. you need to show me. Okay. You really like kites? I like kite. Oh, What's one kite. Mean? Yeah, the only reason why this fucking thing is popping up is because I told the kite story. Let's just focus on your hobbies. Oh, okay. What else do you like to do? He likes to right, kite. What are you talking about? He just yeah. said Yeah, kite is cool. It was a hobby thing. <laughs> How often do you go kite flying? Um, Kiting? Once every five years. <laughs> Yeah, good. I, I have, so you won't go for five years if you've yeah. gone? Yeah. I hope it fucking hits an electrical wire. Yeah, good. <laughs> Don't go kiting, that's weird. It sounds weird as oh. fuck. What's a, what's a like, more frequent like, hobby? Yeah, what's your top hobby? For my top hobby, I like to, when, I, when I'm on the road, I like to eat, um, I like to go eat with friends. <laughs> I like to Okay, do you know what a hobby is? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> What's your top way to stay like alive? To do, yeah, so I like to But that's like actually it's like building a skill or something. Would right? you say like a foodie kind of thing? Is that what you think? Well, I just like the food how like good food that you, when you put it in your mouth you're like, "Ooh, that's a good one." <laughs> So a foodie, he's a foodie. He likes he's a food. Foodie. He likes yeah. food. Yeah. This, is, this is why all the fans want him back. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's they good. love this. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Do you search no, for good. local food? Like yeah, when you're trying so to when you're trying to get that mm, feeling, or you, do you look for like, ooh, I'm in like New Mexico. This is what they're known for. I'm in Florida. Yeah, I try to do that. I do try to do that, and then, um, yeah, I, I, everywhere I go, I try to find like one or two places. So you do the research and preparation. I just Yelp. And then I go, what type of food I'm craving, and I just go there. Yeah, like, but usually it would be like some. I, but it's pretty. If you if you're in the south or, it just good barbecue. I try to eat good barbecue. Oh, I love nice. good barbecue. Yeah, and always spicy. Yes, sir. You like spicy? Yes, yeah, I love spicy. I like. I, I need to feel something. Me too. Do you like Sichuan food? So, no, because it has a numbing thing. Oh, I like that. Uh, what is that called? Anyway, we went to San, we went to literally China. numbing pepper. N it's really? literally numbing spice called yeah. mala. Yeah, mala. 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 Like dental numbing? Well, they use this pepper that feels like anesthesia oh, should, a little bit. We should go. I'd go. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you'd like it, but you should try oh, it. You love spicy, yeah, but this is a hit or miss. It's weird. Yeah. Good yeah. flavor though, whatever. It for real has tingles. Okay. Yeah, tingles. yeah when you, when you eat the the peppercorn like pop rocks and shit. <laughs> Let's go, boys. And then there's an act two once you're done digesting. I'm, uh, oh, yeah. Dude, the next day, were you guys destroying your guts? Yeah, it was a little bit. I had a hard time. Oh, a bit. 
talking about guts. I um I've been eating dates. Oh. Yeah, and dates is really good for gut health. Is really? Thing. What is yeah, it do? I, I like I love dates. I discovered dates like uh, well, that's two a good weeks snack ago. to because you always have snacks. It's like a natural fruit yeah. roll up. That's a good choice. Yeah, because a healthy snack. I just thought you were wearing a diaper. Huh? Oh, because you're crinkling all over the fucking place when you're walking in here. I just thought you were wearing a diaper, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> On the sound of his zip But No, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, he's wearing diaper wear. No, no judgment. Ex expends? Is that what they're called? Yeah. Extends? Depends. 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 Extends is a dick drug. <laughs> Bart knew that, though. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, hey, wait, what, what do you, what's your, what's a night with your wife? What do you guys like to do for fun? Um, it's, it's like a perfect night together. A perfect night together, we are in a hotel room. And uh, away from everybody, and then just uh, eat some ice cream. You know, put the have have a little intimate adult things. You know, <laughs> no, if you catch no what I'm putting down, <laughs> no condom. That's always the best. Yeah. How come a hotel? You don't like your house? What is it? But you just feel like I feel like at the house there's always something that you have to do, yeah. you know, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. yeah, yeah. Hotel yeah. sex is very, very nice yeah, compared to house sex sometimes. It's true. You do, it's, like a, it's like being a tourist somewhere else, right? Yeah. Suddenly you get to break different rules that you would normally not allow yourself to do at home. Yep. It's too familiar yeah. at home. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I can't step on Nikki's head at home. <laughs> it just feels weird. Step on Nikki. That's domestic red. violence. Wait, is that are you stepping on Nikki's head? You guys haven't seen that yeah, porn yeah. when the guys like step it. on the girl's head while they're fucking doggy styling them? <laughs> you guys don't watch enough porn. You don't watch. You don't step watch on the head while they're oh, doggy yeah. styling. It's like you have your leg one leg up. Get your yeah. yeah you get your foot on their head. That's what he's been referencing on. this whole time. What? Joe's yeah. disappointed that we haven't been watching step on your head doggy porn. I okay. didn't. I didn't know. But how do you? But if you step on somebody's head, wouldn't you be worried to have a boner? You'd be like, oh fuck. No, it gives you a harder boner. Oh okay. Yeah, medically. Well, yeah. It's like the guys that like to do massive damage when they have sex. Yeah. Oh, you like that. I'm somewhat of a sabot- I'm, they call me the saboteur. <laughs> I like sensual sex. No, I mean, I, I like to rampage. <laughs> you guys ever play that game? I'm glad, uh, yes. I'm glad uh, you, you got to know him a little bit. Yeah. Good to meet you, brother. Pleasure. Honestly, a pleasure. Rampage world tour. <laughs>